Good afternoon, boys and girls. Today's lesson is titled Division Fluency. The learning target of today's lesson is to use your conceptual understanding of division, multiplication, decimals, and fractions to improve your division fluency. What that means is if you know uh, and understand certain ideas about multiplication, division, decimals, and fractions, you can use that to actually solve problems more effectively and accurately. I'll give you an example. You can read these here to understand what we know conceptually uh, and what we've discovered in class. But for example, a number divided by 1 equals itself. 8 divided by um, 1 is 8. 10 divided by 1 is 10. But a number divided by less than 1 increases the value of that number. Take a look at this example. 60. If you divide this by 1, you'll get 60. If I have 60 pencils and I need to split them across one person, that one person's going to get all 60 pencils. But conceptually, we know that if you take 60 and divide it by a value that's less than 1, the quotient is going to increase and be larger than the dividend. So if your divisor is less than 1 and you're splitting your dividend amongst a divisor that's less than 1, your quotient is going to be greater than the dividend. Um, you can look at these other things that we conceptually know. Uh, for example, that when a whole, whole number divided by, uh, sorry, when a whole number dividend is divided by a whole number divisor, the quotient is smaller than the dividend. Um, and you can read the rest, but let's work on this problem. 60 divided by 80 hundredths. 60 divided by 1 is 60, so 60 divided by a value less than 1 is going to be, we're going to get a quotient that's larger than 60. 60 divided by 1 is 60, because a number divided by 1 equals itself. So a number divided by less than 1 is going to increase the uh, value of the quotient to be greater than the dividend. So I'm going to use a combination of conceptual understanding and uh, I'll, I'll call it language conversion to uh, solve this problem. You'll notice that we have a whole number, 60, and we have a value that's less than 1. This is a part of a whole. So this is a part of a whole, 80 hundredths. This is 60, a whole. We want to get them to speak the same language, so I want to convert them into both whole numbers. Okay, now the 60 is already a whole number, and the uh, 80 hundredths isn't. But what I do to the, my divisor, I'm also going to do to my dividend. So I'll try this for example. I'm going to see this 80 hundredths here, and I'm going to move the decimal in such a way that it becomes a whole number. I moved it once to the right. And uh, I'm going to move my decimal at 60 once to the right. Now you have to understand that there's a decimal over here always. At the end of every whole number, there's always a decimal here. There it is. Make it a little bit more visible. And I'm going to move this to the right. And I'm going to place a 0 here. So right now, what I have is 600 divided by 8. So 80 hundredths became 8. I moved the decimal one space to the right. 60 became 600. And... Um, because I moved the decimal to the right. Now I could stop here, uh, but I could also I could move the decimal point as much as I want, as long as I'm moving them the same amount on the divisor side and, and then on the dividend side. I'll just move it again. So 8 is going to become 80, and 600 is going to become 6,000. And now what happens is I have, and by the way, um, the reason I didn't put a zero here is because there's where the decimal goes now. I've moved that. So we have 6,000 divided by 80. So now I've got two um, values that are speaking the same language. I've got 6,000 divided by 80. Okay. Or I've got 6,000 divided by 80. And now I can solve this like I would traditionally with a division problem. 6,000 divided by 80. 80 goes into 6, it can't. 80 can't go into 60. 80 can go into 600. 7 times. 80 times 7 is 560. There's 40 left over. 80 can't go into 40. Bring the zero down. 80 can go into 400 five times. And 
This is what I get, 75. So to answer the question, what is 60 divided by 80 hundredths, the answer is 75. We'll notice that I did something called you know, language conversion. I'll show it again here. Okay. The 60 has a decimal like every whole number uh, to the right of its ones place. I move this decimal over one, two spaces, and then I move the decimal in 80 hundredths over one, two spaces. And we have 6,000 divided by 80. And that is how I solved this problem. Um, there's a problem on this page. And I'm, the thing I wanted to show you with this is just conceptually, think about this. You've got 60 divided by 80 hundredths. 80 hundredths is a very small number. So I ask myself, how many times can this really small number that's less than 1, 80 hundredths, go into 60? A lot of times, more than 60 times. In fact, we found out it goes into it 75 times. But let's ask ourselves this question. How many times can this large number, 60, go into 80 hundredths? This is less than 1. Can 60 even go into 1? No, it can't. So the answer to this problem, that's going to be a value that's less than 1. So it's possible to divide, and we just kind of just discovered this, it's possible to divide with decimals and receive values that are actually less than 1. If you're dividend is a decimal, and your divisor is a whole number, you'll have a value that's less than 1. We can actually try that language conversion strategy. We'll do that in the next video lesson. I'm going to stop this for now. Um, and uh, that's it. I hope that this division le uh, fluency lesson has provided, pr proved useful for you. Thanks and bye.